live from Sea Caucus, New Jersey. Welcome to Nine Broadcast Plaza. It's Thursday, March 7th, and on today's show, actress singer Olivia Newton John. Our cooking series at La Primavera continues, and in our 11 o'clock hour, should prisoners be paying their own way? And now, here are your hosts Richard Bay, Janet Langhart, Renee Hambly, and Brenda Blackman. Good morning. Hi. Boy, later Good on. Morning. We have Olivia Newton-John here later on is one of the greatest singers in the world, but we have some great singers here this morning we as well, sure huh? We sure do, and a child shall lead the way, as they say. You're going to love this, especially if you love children and music. We have fourth graders here from Public School 102 in Elmhurst, and they're going to sing a song called Smoke Free Class of 2000, the year 2000 song, and it's part of a challenge by the American Cancer Society, the American Lung Association, and the American Heart Association. And their objective is to create a smoke-free generation by the year 2000. Is that wonderful? They want to educate kids and us the dangers of smoking before you begin to smoke. Well, why don't we get to them right now? Well, I just let me introduce the, the musical director first, Richard. We mustn't leave out the teacher, right? He is Guy Lodico. Please welcome him. Now, let's hear from the fourth graders of Public School 102 in Elmhurst. Let's hear it for the smoke-free class of 2000. One, two, three, four. Four, four, four hundred times, times five, it is great to be alive. Five hundred times four, our bodies know the score. Two hundred times ten, strong women and men. Two hundred and fifty times eight, we're feeling so great. A thousand times two, just ask us who are you? Who are you? We are. They may be small, but they've taken on a big challenge, these fifth grade kids from New York City. The challenge? To help make America tobacco free. We are the smoke free class of 2000. To triple zero. Everyone's a hero. Our bodies know the score. 200 times 10. They're in a big Apple recording studio working on a tape, part of an educational kit to be given to 10 and 11 year olds across the country, school year 1992 to 93. The Smoke Free Class of 2000 tries to help kids understand that they have choices and that the influence of the media or the influence of other kids or their parents is something that they should think through instead of just adopting a behavior. Smoke Free Class of 2000 is a national educational project sponsored by the American Heart Association, the American Cancer Society, and American Lung Association. It was launched in 1988 with two million first graders who will graduate from high school in the year 2000. I'm telling people not to smoke because it's really bad for them and they'll die in trying to save people's life. You can get lung cancer, your teeth turn yellow. Now I can feel that I'm making a difference in the world with all the, the ozone layer and pollution and stuff like that. The world may not be healthy, but at least the people should be. This is a big day for the kids because they get to meet and work with a TV star. Hi everybody, my name is Keisha Knight Pulliam. You may know me best as Rudy Huxtable on The Cosby Show. Keisha has been named Honorary Class President of Smoke Free Class of 2000, and she's a big part of the recording session. I mean, I'm getting to help kids all around the country not to fall into the trap of peer pressure and to doing things that other, everyone else is doing because they think it's cool, like smoking. I mean, it's really no good for your body. What is good for your body is staying smoke-free. 
In the coming school year, teachers at more than 72,000 elementary schools will use an activities kit containing an audio cassette, posters, a mock TV script, and additional activities, all underscoring the dangers of tobacco, secondhand smoke, and the psychology of cigarette advertising. And maybe most important for Smoke Free Class of 2000 this year, taking the Smoke Free Pledge. It's a matter of life or smoking. And I know I would pick life. And here's the very last and most important part of all. I pledge to be. I pledge to be. Tobacco free. Tobacco free. From here on to infinity. From here on to infinity. Hooray! If you want to stay healthy and happy, just stay smoke free.